In the aftermath of Ecuador's historic earthquake, survivors continue to face new threats every day. Es totalmente desastroso. Las réplicas eh, han estado constantemente en, tanto en el día como en la noche. Estamos todos con un colapso de, de nervios. The 7.8 magnitude earthquake and its many aftershocks destroyed much of the town of San Jose de Chamanga. This isolated community, home to Galo Acevedo and his family, is just 25 kilometers from the epicenter. Acevedo will need temporary shelter, and he's not alone. More than half of the population here in Chamanga lost their homes. Providing shelter for survivors of the earthquake is a priority for UNHCR. Normally, we're working to uh, support refugees that come from Colombia, fleeing from the conflict, but uh, this week is different. What we're doing today is we've come with tents and we're going to set up a, a, a camp. So what we're doing is working with the local authorities, uh, sharing our expertise that we've got from working in refugee camps around the world. And here what we're trying to do is have a camp that's sustainable. Later that day, Acevedo's family was one of the first to receive a tent. But thousands of Ecuadorians remain homeless. In the coming days, UNHCR plans to distribute 900 tents and more aid to the hardest hit areas. It may be a temporary home for Acevedo and others like him, but it's a crucial first step on the road to recovery.